Hello, I'm Stu Brown, SO1 People, and this is the October People Update. Uh, first of all, pay. We're due to get the results of the pay supplement changes later this month, so I can't update you on that now, and we'll do a separate broadcast on that once we've got the news. Meanwhile, this month we're off to RF Witten and then to Catterick so that the pay judges can take a good look at the geo um, and the log spec trades. The uh, Combat Engineer Class 3 course is being changed into a Class 2 course, and that will happen over time. And the Class 2 tick test has already stopped. If you're in any doubt how you qualify for a Combat Engineer Class 1 course, then you need to read People Policy Note 2010, which is available on the RHQRE SharePoint site. For the Class 1 electricians, don't forget you are still eligible to uh, bid and get a Joint Industrial Board Gold Card. It's there for you for free uh, and it validates your military qualifications. Um, and that's available and all the information you need is on the Royal Engineers CPD website and there'll be a link uh, to this broadcast. Similarly, the Engineer Professional Recognition Awards are still available. And if you are a regular corporal and below and you've got your Class 1 trade course or your JCC and you did those courses from the 1st of April 2018, then you're eligible to go and get EngTech from the Institution of Royal Engineers. And then once you've got that, you're eligible for the EPRA payment of £3,000. It's there for you, why not take it? On trade merger, you've heard about the proposed merger between the armoured and the driver trades, and maybe give it a bit of plant operating capability as well. That's the engineer equipment operator trade that we're looking at creating. We're getting right down into the detail now. We'll have the courses of action all costed and worked out by Christmas, and we're looking for a decision at about Christmas time this year. But please bear in mind that even though we get that decision, and the EOD and search trade will bear this out, um, it will take about two to three years for this to fully implement. So it's not going to happen overnight, but we are working on it. OK, on the expansion of the Queen's Gurkha engineers, 3-7 um, squadron in Catterick will change over time to become 6-7 Gurkha squadron. And we are focused now fully on making sure that the UCTAP, in other words, the Brits in 3-7 squadron, are looked after and managed correctly so that they can be assigned away when they should be and at the right time um, and then Gurkhas are, are posted in uh, to replace them. Secondly, on the QGE, if you haven't heard already, then um, uh, Gurkha LE officers are now available to be offered an IRC LE as well as an SSC LE, and that depends on the qualities of the individual and the vacancies that we have at the time. Um, and then lastly, on retention, yes, we've done a brilliant effort on recruitment and we're at 100% and we're still on target to achieve that. And now we are focused heavily on, on keeping the people that we do have now. So there's a working group set up and they're due to report soon and let's see how that goes. But we are really focused now on the retention effort now that the recruiting effort has gone so well. That's the end of the October People update and we'll be back again soon once we've got news on pay. Thank you.